Welcome to the Sponsored Rider Club Podcast, your guide to motorsport sponsorship. Here's your host, Josh Weesey. Welcome to this episode of the Sponsored Rider Club Podcast, live experience, which is powered by Four Wheel Parts, and also the live experiences are brought to you by Bold Racing. I got their stuff right behind me here. Uh, I am trying something a little bit different today. I have got both live experiences going right now on Facebook and on Instagram. So <laughs> this is a pure experiment right here. I've never done it both at the same time. So we're giving this thing a shot. I got a couple of topics here I'm going to go through. Basically four steps, four tricks, four tips to improve your overall online presence. Now, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and uh, type some comments in. I'll do my best to answer those. But Facebook, though, like I, that's a little bit easier for me to see the way I've got my whole setup here. But if you're watching Facebook Live, type your comments. Instagram Live, type your comments. We'll do our best. Uh, and at any point, you can like, share, comment, invite your friends, do a watch party. It doesn't matter. It's all good. All right. So the topic here, four simple ways to improve your online presence from a professional standpoint. Not everything is going to be completely new here. I've covered some of these things in the past before, but not in necessarily this order, not this succinct. And a lot of this is very new to me right now, like top of mind, because I am creating, uh, should I even say this yet? Yeah, why not? I'm working on a new podcast. Uh, it's going to be in 2020, so we got a long time, but I started going through the list of things like, oh, yeah, I need this, 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 this. And I just captured a couple of things right now, and I want to share it with you all, all right? So first off, and I'm going to hammer this home constantly, get a website. I love Facebook, love Instagram, love Twitter, all those things. You get really cool profiles. You get a lot of things that you can pack into you know, one platform, but you don't fully own it. Uh, Facebook can change, Instagram can change, they do it all the time. I really recommend getting a website. Now, obviously, I recommend going with a professional like Jeff Vanistel of TopThePodium.com. They've been sponsoring this show since episode six. So, like, I'm going to continue to to rep them. They made my website. Uh, Jeff gets amazing shout-outs across the board. So, I feel really good standing behind that product, but... If you can't afford a professional like Jeff to come on and do your website, there are tons of lower cost options out there. Um, you can experiment, do whatever. So this is really important. No, I think you should do it. Um, and I think that you should start like now. Um, there are some very simple options out there. I'm actually going to get to that in a minute with point two uh, to just quick, boom, get something. Just get something out there. Uh, even if it's just a landing page. So either way, uh, I think that that's really important. If you have the skill, if you have the time, uh, you can do it yourself. But you know, if you want to get something really high quality, you can hire a professional. A lot of the higher end sponsors too are going to be expecting that. Um, so either way, that's my recommendation there. Next thing, which is very closely linked, is buy a custom domain. So what that means is, you know, sponsoredriderclubpodcast.com. That's a custom domain. That's something I bought. Um, you know, in this case, Jeff loaded it <laughs> for me, so I didn't really have to do much work. But uh, buy a custom domain, uh, and it just makes that much more, you know, professional look to what you've got. So you can go to bobracing.com or bobracing.us, or there's all different things, and they're relatively cheap if it's not something that's a really popular thing. Um, so just today, this literally happened today, I went and bought a domain for my new podcast that I'm working on. Um, I bought it in like five minutes. I used GoDaddy.com. There's plenty of other ones out there. Uh, but I used GoDaddy.com. I think I spent $40 for like a protection plan in two years, and I got, you know, a domain that I liked. Um, I really recommend doing that. If you got, you know, your last name, racing.com, I think it just looks that much better. Um, and that step, that's a step in the right direction too towards this next piece here that I want to talk about, and that is getting a custom email address using that domain that you just created. 
So for me, I've got one that says Josh at SponsoredRiderClubPodcast.com. You know, so I bought the domain, I linked it to my email, and now, you know, I've got this relatively cool looking email address. Um, you could do the same thing if you're Bob'sRacing.com. You can have, you know, Bob at BobRacing.com. Or uh, if you've got other people that help you out, you know, whether it's family members or a race crew, you can get all their different names. You can have Crew Chief at Bob'sRacing.com. Um, so you get a lot of options there and almost every like hosting platform gives you this option. You know, I've used godaddy.com. So I have my different, you know, email addresses through there as well. Um, some people do info at such and such.com. Um, all of it I think is really good. It makes that professionalism just, <clears throat> just that much better. Um, so I really like it. Uh, looks like uh, Desert Vets Racing, probably Mike Pasquarella just commented here using Desert R Vets Racing profile. Google works great for that too. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, I've even seen people take it, uh, you know, sponsor rider club podcast at gmail.com, right? Even that has a nice little ring to it. A um, little bit of professionalism and that's almost completely free. Um, so yeah, I recommend doing that. Uh, it's, it's way too easy. So what I actually did today, I create, I bought a domain uh, through GoDaddy.com, and then there's like this one-click um, option I can do to create a website, and I got, I created like a one-page. It's just a landing spot that says, you know, new podcast coming soon, May 2020. And uh, I know that's so far out there, but hey, uh, that's where that's life right now. Um, so I I put that in in a page, and it took me like a minute, and it was all free. On you know, I should say it was all included in the price of the domain. So either way, uh, simple to do, and I think it has a really big impact. All right, the last thing I'm going to talk about in this relatively short show here today is creating a LinkedIn profile. Now, we talk about LinkedIn on this show every now and then. Um, it's not the most popular platform out there for social media. You know, I, I push Instagram a lot. I think Instagram right now is where you've got to, got to, got to be at uh, for motorsport sponsorship. Uh, but LinkedIn is a cool, more professional take on the whole deal. So you can basically build a profile that's your racing resume or your riding resume, whatever you want to do. You can build a profile around that. Um, you can put a custom headshot in there, or a really nice image, um, and you can connect with sponsors. Like people out there put their titles in LinkedIn, so they'll put sponsorship manager uh, at, you know, BillsteinShocks.com, at FoxRacing.com, at FourWheelParts.com. You know, they, they have all that in there. Um, and I think it's really important to do that. Uh, and then looks like Desert Vest just made a, another comment here, a question, a clarification. Create a personal or program-wise? Uh, I think in this case, I would recommend doing a personal LinkedIn page. So, Mike, for you, I'd say Mike Pascarella, right? Just completely create it that way and then build it out. You know, Desert Vest Racing, uh, and then all these different accomplishments that you might do within that program. That that would be my recommendation. Create a personal profile. That's for you. Um, that way you might move from race series to race series um, or program the program. So, like, you might have, Mike, like Desert Fits Racing this year. Maybe 10 years from now you might have something else. Um, so you would keep building off that profile. Um, you keep building connections with these sponsors. Uh, I think it's really important, um, and it's really simple to use, too. And there's a nice search function in there. So if you are looking for a specific company, you can start diving into what people's roles are within that company. So honestly, that's what I wanted to cover today. Four simple tips and tricks um, to kind of building up your, you know, your online profile. Um, it looks like Nomad Overland just commented on Instagram here. I have LinkedIn. Perfect. Uh, actually, look me up, Joshua Weese, W-I-E-S-E. -E. Look me up on there and uh, we can connect. Um, and that goes for anybody else too. All right. Well, Hey, I'm going to try to end two live videos at the same time. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with this. So have fun and ride safe.